So this is my dad's El Camino drag week car. It's like, I got a four nine inch in it, has an LS3, we'll pop the hood off here pretty quick, I think, and show you guys. Are we Just, going to the roof? Yeah, let's go to the roof, let me scratch the paint somewhere. There we go. This thing is so tore up, guys. My dad likes it nice and rough though, so that sounded really that weird. Was that was really weird. weird. <laughs> Let's, can we, like, we're not gonna we're not gonna bleep that, but you, you everybody watching this is gonna wish they didn't hear that. Yeah, Jeff just doesn't care. He could have a nice car and he's like, just give me this beat up old El Camino. Well he has a fucking brand new G82 M4 and he's like <laughs> yeah, I like this. He's like, this is what I want. <laughs> I want some chip. Like, hey. dude, drag week in the M4, you'd probably like do really well. <laughs> like, I know. You could throw it like boot mod tune on them and just like run 10. I don't know. <laughs> Instead he's like, I'm gonna do I 11s. Run 12s in my <laughs> so basically right now this thing has a four speed in it, a four L80E that was converted to manual shifting. So it's a four L80 now. Um, and it is awful. It's like, you just like, like press the gas. And it makes noise and doesn't go anywhere. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it in my life. So, but this car has a stock bottom end Chevy crate motor that made 525 stock or something like that. Then uh, he added heads, cams, intake, and long tube headers. Um, the chassis itself has a full cage in it that's from like the 80s, it's real sweet. Uh, some like QA1 front suspension, we're gonna put power steering in it using a Opel pump. Um, it's got a four link in the back with a nine inch. Um, we're gonna go from like a 460 gear to like a 3.5 with these giant tires that are way too big for 500 horsepower. Yep. Um, and then he's hopefully gonna drive it a couple thousand miles doing both race week and drag week right after each other. So it's the ultimate torture test for the 8HP and we're doing the Dodge 8HP in this one. So it's gonna be like literally one from like a charger in this car. Yeah, it's like a 2015 Charger 8HP with the V8 bell housing. So it's super yeah. cheap, super it's, easy. This is like the boomer version of 8HP swaps. We're making it as simple as possible. Yeah. The only upgrade we're doing is Ooh. the converter. Yes, we're moving the so, converter up slightly. Yes. I think the factory converter for us is I think 2100 with this setup and we're going to 3000. Yeah. yeah. Granted though, this car right now has like a 4500 RPM converter in it. But <laughs> the first gear in this thing is much higher. And the 8HP, yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, the 8HP yeah, first 8HP gear. The 8HP has like a 472. Yeah, it's so I think the car, I think the car is going to be a lot more drivable with the with the yeah. lower stall converter that's still a little bit above. So you get the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go do some draggy testing to get a little bit before and yeah, after. Just to get like some good comparisons before and after. The rear end's kind of bent right now. Yeah, we're just ignoring that. Like we're just we're just out there. We're just Jeff has hit some out. walls. Yeah, Jeff's hit some walls. This thing. So he hit the wall. And the rear end has a little toe out in it. So it's a little scary. Yeah, this thing. I don't know if you can see it, guys, but yeah, he's he hit the wall. Stop with the camera too fast. <laughs> Mike's really putting the new Sony camera to test. Yeah, this is the new camera. You get Mike video. It's so. I am a samurai. Zoom in, out, in, out, out. In, At least I can't touch the zoom on this this one. Oh, it's electric zoom. It's easier for you to zoom now. Oh god. All right, let's just Why? let's just clear all the crap out of here. We're gonna go to Mexico. It's a little bit of a road road trip, but yep. in about 30 seconds we're gonna be there because we have really fast semi trucks. Yep. It's like Fast and Furious. <laughs> uh, I suppose up. I probably need to help you with this, don't I? We want to get the most accurate measurements. So. Yep. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple of modifications to this car. Most, the biggest thing being the eight speed. Plus a couple other changes to make life easier, like power steering. This thing is so awful to drive. Um, other things we're doing is a drop knuckle in the front, um, bigger brakes, we got the Wilwood big brake kit, power steering, well I mentioned that already, electric power steering, um, new rear gear. Uh, there's a couple of, just like little things to make Quality life easier. Quality of life thing, especially life. cause like, Drag week is drag week, right? Like it's not like he trailers this also, thing. So Jeff is not about trying to win drag week. No, he just He's, wants to be comfortable. He wants to hang with the boys and like go racing. So yeah. like, it's like the country club of racing. Yeah, like they're, just, <laughs> they're hanging out, they're breaking down. Jeff wants to be the guy helping people, not the one people helping him. Yes. So we're just trying to keep this thing reliable, comfortable, you know, so. All right. This power street, that is awful. Yeah, give it right the now, Right now it has cutouts in it. So like right now the cutouts are closed, it has mufflers. But it, they don't sound like it though. You start it up, it's gonna be loud. Start it and I'll grab the back door. Oh, look at this. 
Chase. That's America, baby. Let me go get the door. Oh yeah, I really worked that steering wheel. All right, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. All right, Kendra's on the film, so we're gonna recap what just happened. El Camino went slow. Basically not a lot happened <laughs> at the end of the day. Um, zero to 30 time, we were zero to 30 in 3.11 seconds. Wow. Zero to 30. Zero to 60 was 6.35 seconds, so basically a Chrysler Pacifica. Um, we did the the eighth mile in a respectable quarter mile time of 9.47 and the thousand feet in 12.6 seconds so basically all it did was generate a, a metric fuck ton of heat yeah and it didn't actually convert that heat to horsepower it just converted it to our butts being sweaty yeah <laughs> and noise like i don't i don't understand like uh hope Hopefully there's a lot of upgrades coming because it's, and also when you brake, the car won't go off the road. It was pretty sketchy, yeah. I mean, the car launches and basically just squats to one side. And then when you brake, it basically just definitely squats to one side and pulls off. So yeah, I mean, lots of updates. So, so what do we have to do? We have the eight speed, obviously, is the biggest thing. Eight HP. Power steering with electric power steering pump. Yep. Drop knuckles with little big brake hit. Yep. Um, the nine inch is bent right now. Straight in the nine inch. So that will be straight. Do you have a straight nine inch, Chris? <laughs> yeah, <I wish. laughs> it's bent. Chris, <laughs> too. Um, what else are we doing? Uh, new steering wheel paddles. That's not very performance related, no. I guess. We're, going, we're changing the gear ratio. We'll probably change the oil and spark plugs, give it like an extra one horsepower. Um, in the margin of error. Yeah. Oh, there's a new radiator, but that's not really going to get us anything. No, but. So like, this cool. is the one time to get up there pretty fast. Yeah. Like so. we drove down the block and came back and it was 210. So it's it's, this is going to be a good exercise on. Oh, Ooh. doesn't he not have a thermostat? No, he, I think he put two in or something by accident. Put two thermostats in, probably backwards, so that the water in the middle just got. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. 
So, but it's going to be a good measurement of how uh, effective the 8-speed swap is for cars like this. Old school muscle cars with modern engines or even old school engines that just kind of want a modern transmission that doesn't just make heat. Yeah, or if you just like, you have an LS and you put a Holly in and you're like, this is sweet. And then you want like a real transmission, not this. It doesn't just drive. Like, this is so yeah. undrivable. You hit the gas and it doesn't even feel like your car goes anywhere until it's like 5,000 RPM and it like lurches forward. Yeah. Um, and also like, like he said in the car, whoever, like, cause I was complaining, whoever calibrates take up in these is terrible. Like you put it into gear and it's like, It's a nice hood right there. You uh, put it in gear and it just jerks. You go to reverse you it. Like, put it in reverse. It, it spins tire for a second and they throw it in reverse. It's like, what are you doing? So, so Kendra's dying right now. We made her laugh and now she can't hold the camera. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I can say that's a pretty recap of the El Camino. And now we think we got a fix from Bartek for my 8HP. So let's go pump some fluid into that and then we'll go drive a real transmission. Yeah. Gang. Gang, gang.